So I didn't realize this game, there's like a whole series of them. And they're over, they're on sale on Steam right now. I really need to find my wireless dongle for my mouse. I, I need to clean up is the real thing. Oh, I bet you it's my bag because it's technically, that'd be with the last place. I don't like that I have to click continue. I guess this is like where you last were. All right, so we finished up on the computer. Um, No, no, that's not where, what? Okay. Read. I really don't feel like reading all of that. Go down. Oh, hi, dear. Let's talk to her. Fight, figure some of this stuff so, out. So, Miss Walker, were the documents of any help to you? Yes, I was even able to locate the shop I'm looking for. Thank you so much, Frau Wagner. Good. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about your guest house, Frau Wagner? Oh, I'd be delighted. What would you like to know? Things seem to be quiet today. Oh, there's never many guests at this time of year. Actually, is she a guest too? Oh, yes. She arrived earlier. An elderly English lady. A former military officer, if I understood correctly. They say she's, she's come on some rather whispering. unpleasant business. A burial, from what I can gather. Ah, oh, yes, Miss Walker. And she hasn't let go of the telephone since she got here. I'd love to know more about you, Frau Wagner. Oh, there's not much to tell, really. At least, nothing that would change the course of history. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you've had an eventful life, haven't you? Well, I was born just after the war in Wagen, and I've never left. I opened this place and ran it with my husband until he died a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. You see, nothing to write home about. Then again, we were never ones for excitement, really. But we were happy, my husband and I. Where are you? You seem a little hesitant The room's on that. just perfect. Thank you so much. There's no need to thank me, Miss Walker. It's my job to make sure my guests are comfortable. And it's not every day we get a young American lady on a motorbike in the middle of the night looking for a mysterious shop. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm in a detective novel. You are. I have a few questions about Wagen. Good. Because if you'd asked me about the latest scientific discovery, I'd have to say pass. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's about Wagen, then you've come to the right person, my dear. The district. What can you tell me about the district? Well, it's one of the oldest districts in Wagen, traditionally working class. Myself and a few of the other relics who live here do try to keep it from modernization and mass tourism as best as we can. Other districts haven't been so careful and the locals have been forced to leave their district because of rising rent prices. To be honest, I haven't had much time to find out about Wagen and the surrounding area. What is it I should know? For one, Wagen is very old. Are these Renowned like the Nancy Drew games? Culture. Should I just like be trying to get the to the point? Area, it attracts mountain lovers mostly, it being so near to the Swiss Alps, of course. The banks of the Dombra, the longest river in the country, are the delight of summer vacationers. I do like the, the style and everything of the game. Apparently the shop I'm looking for is located in Wagen's Antiques District. Could you tell me how to get there from the guest house? Your best bet is to take the tram, miss. The town centre is almost entirely pedestrian, and your motorbike won't be of any use there. You'll find the nearest tram stop at the top of the stairs, to your right as you go out of the guest house. My, uh, quest here is closely linked to the region of Wagen. Could you tell me a little bit about its history? I'd be glad to. The woman I'm looking for must have been about 18 in 1937. Was this an important date in the history of Wagen? Not that I know of, no. 
<laughs> but I'm not much of a historian, and I wasn't even born then. All I know is that the Troubles came the following years, with the Second World War. So that year must have been a boom year for fascist ideology, when the brown shadow was still just another party vying for power by preaching hate. I found out about the woman I'm looking for thanks to a painting that must have been pillaged by the brown shadow during World War II. Doesn't surprise me. Wagen, and by extension, all of Ostertal, was annexed and occupied by the fascists just before the war. They sacked, stole, and pillaged everything they could, just like they did in the rest of occupied Europe. Nothing else comes to mind for the moment. Thank you for your time. Well, feel free to come back and ask if you have any more questions. I'm gonna be rude. It's busy. All right. Um. So I guess we go up to get out. Why? Why is there no entrance? Okay, that's what I was trying to do. It wouldn't let me. Those Have are... a nice day, Miss Walker. You didn't even say you two? Miss Walker is rude. Betty Wagen is practically all pedestrian. After all those months on the road, I've gotten kind of fond of that old bike. We can just ogle over our bike. I was just moving something, game. Um, she said up to the right, I believe. So weird that like the stairs is a slow point. Visit the district out. Oh, You mean? I did hear something on the news before coming out. What's the latest then? They reckon they've found remains dating back to World War II, when Alpine resistance networks led refugees across into Switzerland. Nasty times were those. Yes, not the best times in our history, were they? I wonder what the game map looks like outside of the tram, because obviously you're su it, we're going to be taking the tram everywhere. We're so like you're not walking around the whole town, but I wonder if there's just like these pockets of emptiness throughout the map. She apparently doesn't bond with anyone, never divulges her motivations, the uh, 
unanimously coffers as she spends moments for us. Uh, I have arrived in Vaughn, where I've been able to quickly pick up Miss Walker's trail. She's staying for a while at a local guest house, but had already left by the time I arrived. It's not going to be easy to find out if she has left the town or moved to another address. The guest house owner, a certain Frau Wagner, seems to hold her in very high esteem and has categorically refused to help me. It was all I could do to get Frau Wagner to tell me that Miss Walker went to the Antiques Districts on her first day in the city. I still just have the uh, have to follow Kate's footsteps in order to reconstitute her trials and tribulations uh, in Vaughn. Never mind, though. After all, it seems my routine for almost the past three years. Person's losing steam. Why is that not back? Oh, the tearing. Um, Let's walk around, talk to the stalls. Let's read some paper. We're totally, we just read all of that. We're speed readers. Let's look at this stall, excuse me. Typical of the town, judging from what I've seen so far of the architecture here. What's that supposed to mean? I think I have issues with this camera view. No, I don't want to go to the antique place. An antique shop, but not the one I'm looking for. people I could talk to everybody when we were here the first time but now that it's like 1930s or 2004 you can't talk to anybody Miller's oh straight ahead Fraulein you can't miss it Game really is good looking. Like it has really No, nice that isn't the antique shop I'm looking for. Hello. Please refrain from touching the merchandise. Am I supposed to be in a hurry? I don't know. Müller und Zerne? It's just over there, on the next corner. You can't miss it, Fräulein. Müller und Zerne? 
It's just over there, on the next corner. Feels like I've completely lost my appetite since the mines. And yet, Wagen is famous the world over for its cakes. Hmm. Can't be this way. Yeah, I know it's not this way. I'm just checking out the alley before heading into Müller okay. und Söhne. Müller and Son. <laughs> this must be the place. I was trying to explore. Guess I accidentally clicked the spot. I thought as much. So, Hans was here in Wagen after all. That hallmark on that sphere proves it. Wonder what that automaton was used for. I have to get a closer look. Automaton, well, that's what they're called. That is if someone lets me in. Inventory day. Ring three times for urgent matters. You rang? Uh, yes. Sorry to bother you. Um, hello. I mean, uh, guten tag. Herr Müller? Guten tag, Fräulein. I am stock-taking, if you will. Oh, sorry to disturb you. But if you don't mind, I'd like to show you a painting. A painting? Yes, of someone I'm looking for. A girl... <laughs> Who apparently looked like me. Well, I'm rather busy, but all right, show me. You see, it has the name of your shop on it. Yes, the label certainly comes from here. It's very old, though. It's the only clue I have as to the whereabouts of the girl. I see. My guess is whoever owned the painting must have been a client of the shop before the painting was stolen by the Brown Shadow during the Second World War. That's all very possible. That was when the shop sold materials for artists. As you can see, we don't sell that type of article anymore. Do you mind if I take a look? Be my guest. I've been told I look like the model in the painting. A slight exaggeration, no doubt. But is there any chance that you know who she could have been? There's no exaggeration, Fräulein. Indeed, she does look like you. But I'm sorry, I've never seen her before. Do you know anything about the artist? Well, I'd say the style is close to the naturalist school, which makes sense given the date on it. The signature is very faint. From what I can make of it... No, no, I, the name doesn't ring a bell. Sorry, Fräulein. How could the case have come from your shop? Going by the date, the painting must have been done in my grandfather's day. Back then, the shop sold materials for art, and this type of case would have been used to protect a painting, or to carry documents, a manuscript, or even sheet music. Apart from that, Oddly specific. there's not much else I can tell you. Lighting. Jesus. Pity. You were my last hope. I can tell you where it was painted, though, if it's any help. Oh? Yes, I'm certain. That's the refuge at the Silberspiegel. You can make out the mountain circus in the background. It overlooks Wagen and leads to the Swiss border. Right. You can get there by the tramway. Just 
head southeast and get off at the end of the line. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Mind you, there's quite a hike from the station to the refuge. Oh, I'll manage. Anything else, Fraulein? Actually, there is. I noticed an object in your window there. A strange metal sphere which might work with an automaton mechanical heart I have. Yes, it's an authentic Vorlberg. Do you mind if I try it? No, not at all. Let me get it for you. I like how they just left the doors open. Here you go. Thanks. So we inspect. We have one, three, five, seven, nine. It moved. Maybe it can be opened. It moved. Maybe it can be opened. Um, and then we have zero, two, four, six, eight, so the opposite numbers. Something's obstructing it. Is that close? Oh, looks like there's something underneath its scales. Varlberg Key. Hans's logo. That's it. All right. So. Okay. Wrong one. Ish, I need to start over. 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 Seven. Three, Wrong one. Ish, I need to start seven. over. Seven. Wrong one. Ish, I need to start over. Um. <sighs> doing put Oscar's heart in the sphere all right so if we go back um, the pin on the back is what I want to look at it's two nine three six seven zero Nine. Um. Three. Seven. Wrong one. What? Ugh, I need to start over. Two, nine, three. Six, seven, zero. Two nine three six seven zero. All right. So we go here. We go two. Three. 
nine, three, six, seven, zero. A Varlberg lock. Use the key. Use the heart. Use the key. Porcupine. Oscar, can you hear me? Hello, Kate Walker. Oscar, I'm so glad you're back among the living. <sighs> Delighted to see you too, Kate Walker. But I seem to have an internal management issue. This host body's instincts seem to be at odds with me, and... Uh, Oscar, is everything all right? Oscar? Oscar, come back! <gasps> oh dear, I can't control myself. Help, please, Kate Walker, help me. Oscar, where are you going? I can't help it, Kate Walker. It's taking me away. Oscar, wait! Come back! I am out of control, Kate Walker. Help! Hey, what the... Kate Walker! Help! Oscar, wait! That thing is crazy! Oscar! Have you seen an automaton? Like a small animal? Oh, I sure did. The little bugger just rushed inside this coffer. Well, do you have the key? Oh, I have plenty on my stall. Please feel free to find the right one, and then get the hell out of here. Hang on, Oscar. Just stay where you are, okay? That shouldn't be a problem, given the situation, Kate Walker. But please hurry. This host body's instincts are fighting me for control. I guess it could open the coffer. Y you don't... I mean, I don't know why they're having you observe well, this one things. could work with the coffer. I guess. Yeah, like, I don't know why it's... They're like, oh, let's... Could be this one. Or another. Oh, come on, there must be a way to see which key is the right one for the coffer. Um... I mean, well, this maybe... one could work with the coffer. I guess. Circles... The diaries don't tell me anything that I can tell. Um, let's just look in over here real quick. I want to say it's this one. This one looks like that it. That one could be as good as any. Uh huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think we've gotten all the keys. We come over here. It has this shape, so we're going to use the last one that we found. We're going to use that. This is the one. Why would you not be ready to catch the thing? Oscar, don't move. <laughs> ah, there you are. My apologies, Kate Walker, but it seems I am unable to take over this body's instincts. 
It won't budge. Hang in there, Oscar. I'll find something to force it out. I mean, you out. W whatever. You know what I mean. Please hurry, Kate Walker! Um... Hey, that lamp. I think uh, we have one of those. No, nope, that's not it. Uh, no, room. I can't use that. Hey, what? wait a second. Kid Walker, what are you? Sorry, Oscar. It's all I could come up with. You need to fight it, Oscar. <laughs> that's, that's what you laugh about. <laughs> of camera. Fight it, Oscar. But I can't. You can do it, Oscar. I know you can. He's trapped in a dead end. I got him now. Oh, this is the most painful interaction system. Oscar, what are you doing? I am unable to control the beast's infernal instinct. Help me, Kate Walker. Okay, calm down. Good boy. Nice and easy. That a boy. Come here. Who's my boy? Come here now. Oh, he's such a good boy. Come on. What does chide mean? That's enough. You come back here right now. Oscar! <laughs> Oh, he just lost Oscar. No more. How's everyone doing? What's everyone up to? I don't want to give up. Rip? What? That's so sad. You just made her... That... Oh, this is annoying. I didn't know what Chide meant. I wonder if we'll get... I wonder if we'll get Oscar back. I'm sure we owe that guy some money now. I'm gonna be working in his shop for a while. What the hell was that beast? I'm kind of upset. No, not again. Not Oscar. Oh, darn it, why do I have to lose everyone I love? I'm not the biggest fan of this control system, I will say. Like, it's the camera angles that really... So, couldn't you catch it? No, sorry. I lost your Vorlberg sphere. Oh, forget it. Nobody wanted it anyway. And it was taking up window space. Automatons don't fascinate people like they used to. I imagine you're the only one who will notice it's gone. It's a terrible loss indeed. More than I could say. But thanks for all your help anyway. You are very welcome. Good day to you, Fraulein. Thank you, Herr Müller. I'm off to the mountain refuge you told me about. Good day. Come on, Kate. Herr Muller gave you all the pieces of information you needed. And Oscar must be long gone now. Better move on to the tram. 
I mean, if you just go down the great system, I'm sure... Um, he said southeast. Uh, I don't quite know. Don't wave at me. I don't know which way southeast from here. I mean, I found him. Was I supposed to negotiate, I guess? Herr Muller said to take the tram to get to the refuge. Oh, I have to go back the way I can't. Okay. Oh, well, the water, really nice looking. No, no, no. <sighs> what the hell is my broom doing here? <laughs> the damn thing is on the loose, huh? Well, good riddance. Rude. I think that was part of it. Autumn, 2005. Played by Carbs. Guys, I didn't grab any food. I need to grab a snack. Do 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 do. This game does look really good. Like. It's not Hellblade good, but it is. Chef's Kiss. There's a little weird lighting effect going on, and I'm not quite sure what that's caused from, so... Oh, that's cool. That way the passengers are always leveled. Wait, the train goes up into the mountain and yet it couldn't take me? Or is it taking me? I don't know. Guys, if you're just stopping by, do you mind giving the stream a thumbs up or a like? It means the world helps with engagement and it boosts our uh, views and whatnot. We're currently trying to find this girl in this painting. And it's like almost 70 years in the future. Actually, yeah, almost. How does it spin on the tr the wire? Did I miss that part? We added to the diary. According to the latest information, um, Kate Walker has lost the autonomy she calls Oscar by 
all accounts, this happened during her way, uh, her visit with the Mueller antique shop. No, poor Oscar. Uh, given that she's also now mourning her mother and her co intimate, oh, co inmate, I'm beginning to wonder if Miss Walker brought or thought some kind of, or brought some kind of curse upon herself when she fled with the late uh, Monsieur Vavalberg. Vo- 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 uh, three years ago, it might seem a bit far-fetched, but there's a term I once heard at a conference. My favorite crime um, writer, and it keeps popping into my head. And I think when I think of, ever I think of Kate Walker, wow, in words, he risks. <clears throat> but anyways, Miss Walker is still on her unlikely quest to find the woman in the picture, and found the. She found in that mine. Oh, in the picture she found in the mine. My guess is she thrown herself into this new quest to escape from her grief. Uh, Hi Mueller, uh, from the antique shop told me she sent me he sent Miss Walker to the refuge in the mountains near Vaughn. Uh, I'll be heading out there soon. Interesting. Nope, 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 nope. What's over this way? Can I cross these? When was the last time anyone was here? Not ex- hmm. Thanks, but no thanks. Ah, how nice. The refuge must have been a popular destination for vacationers. Must have been, you know. Let's go back. No down. one here. Hardly surprising. I like that window door. I like the door window combination with the circle. That's some pretty cool architecture there. Have an introspection to kind of gather our thoughts. It's so beautiful, so calm. But what am I doing here? Well, they say bad things come in threes. First mother's death, then poor Katusha, and now Oscar. I can't believe I've lost him again. Am I doomed or what? Thank goodness I've still got the girl in the painting. Something to hang my hopes on. But maybe I'm just kidding myself. And why me? Why not Katusha? Why did she have to die? It's like, like this painting has chosen me. Oh, it's a beautiful place. Don't know what I expect to find here, though. Yet somehow it feels right. Can't say why. I mean, why am I so sure this mountain refuge has anything to do with the painting? Maybe I'm just a hopeless optimist. Or a lost dreamer. <sighs> I guess there's only one way to find out. Alright. So we go this way? The graphics are really good. Um... Herr Müller was right. It's quite a walk to the refuge. Well, I guess the sooner I head out, the sooner I get there. Seven and a half kilometers. Dude, 
she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Mm. Admire the view before you set off again. From where? She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Bit too close to the edge, if you ask me. I should find a safer spot. Wow, what a fantastic view. I should try and find a better spot to admire it from. That is stunning. That is stunning. Oh, man. I guess that's the refuge way over there. Oh, well. Better get going. Can I just click on it? Double click on it from here? Will it take me there? <laughs> Careful here. Too many fallen trees and well, wobbly why are you walking? rocks for my liking. Why are you walking? What the hell was that? Now I got creepy Indiana Jones stalking me. It's like a Scooby Doo thing going on. Looks like all sorts of wild animals live in these mountains. Hiking tips? Thanks, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Don't be ashamed to turn back. with the waterfall flow, flowing down. Oh, I missed something. We are now in the Alps. Well, that was one heck of a walk. Oh, come on. A ladder now? <laughs> uh, okay, let's just do this. Pretty sure there must be another way. Oh. Apparently, don't move your mouse when you're doing this section. You'll go right back down the ladder. Something tells me oh. we're going to go back in time here shortly. That must provide energy to the refuge. Reached the refuge. I 
I've seen that before. That must be it. Now I should try to find a matching point somewhere. Beautiful sky in either case. But that's not enough. Just what I was looking for. Perfect. No, it doesn't match. That, that's because... There, that's the rocks I was trying to find. That's not specific enough to draw any solid conclusions. I mean, not with that attitude. No matching points here. I should try something else. Heart shape of the rock wall. I think it's behind her. That rock wall. It can't be a coincidence. Okay. A lot of rocks over there, and in the painting, but I need some more specific comparison like points. Glaciers, I guess, maybe? Because... Yeah, it's the glaciers. Looks similar, sure, but it could just be a coincidence. I need to find more accurate clues. Those sharp peaks. They look exactly what? the same. What is that compared? Mm. Wow. Hardly changed at all. Breathtaking, isn't it, Fraulein? Beautiful. It is called the Silberspiegel. Our local pride. Are there wheelchairs? Judging from my painting, Do their wheelchairs wasn't have a that person different 60 years ago. Type head in it? That's weird. Ma'am, is everything all right? Yes. It's just that you look very much like the person in the picture, Fraulein. This person so, knows something. You do know her then, don't you? Can't say I don't, but it was a very long time ago. Actually, I've come a very long way to find out about her. I would really like to know who she is. Or was. It's very important to me, you see. And why is that, Fraulein? You said so yourself. We look very much alike, right? I see. By the way, what is your name? Oh. Walker. Kate Walker. I am Lenny. Lenny Renner. Nice to meet you, Frau Lenny. Lenny Renner. Demoiselle, my dear. My legs never did manage to get me to church in time. Oh. Demoiselle Lenny. Well, Fraulein Walker. 1937, you say? Ah, that was before the war, when I could still run like the fawn wind. Father was the manager in those days. And here we go to a flashback. We are now going back to 1937. It was one summer evening that the whole story of your painting began. I remember it like it was yesterday. A group of scientists were staying at the refuge to prepare for an expedition to some faraway place in the east. They were being trained by a local alpinist who was to guide them. His name was Leon Kabatis. Oh, handsome as a Greek god he was, and an Olympic champion no less, very popular with the ladies. And he was lovely to me would give me a wink and a smile whenever I served him his beer. 
Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny, he would say. In French, if you please. Made me feel like a proper little madam. But then Frau Junta would always shoo me away. Frau Junta? Must have been in her mid-twenties. But of course, to me, she was an old hag. Past it. And I didn't like the way she bossed my Leon around with that camera of hers. The refuge was buzzing. Everyone was jolly. And the scientists were there. Debating as usual about this and that. So a she cheerful was like bunch, really, despite their disputes. Except, that is, for one. Frank Hoss was his name. Preferred his own company. Though I could see, even with my young eyes, he was devious as the devil. But what about the girl in the picture? Well, she was there that evening, too. She had come to work through the summer. Her name was Dana. Dana Rose. Ah, oh, she was as cute as a button and well-mannered with it. Even father was sweet as a lamb to her. Take care of the scientist drinks, then go around taking orders, and have a look at the stove while you're at it. That's such a weird yes, instruction. Gustav. Will you be alright now, Dana? It's the first busy night since you started, so just ask if there's anything you need to know. Alright, my lovely? Thank you, Herr Gustav. I'd be grateful if you could give me a few pointers. Oh, there's not much to it, really. Keep up your smile and the twinkle in your eye. Add that to a bit of friendly banter, and you'll soon have them eating out of your hand, my girl. But what should I talk about? For a start, people love to speak about themselves, right? But make sure you have an escape line ready, in case they drag on or if things become uh, inappropriate. Especially when they've had one or two too many. So stay on your guard and you'll be fine. Stay on your guard. Smile, banter, guard up. Got it. I see. Cause you don't want old Gustav having to wade in and pull you out of trouble. You hear me, Dana? Don't worry, Herr Gustav. I'll be fine. What is with the lighting in the hair? Oh, off your trot then, my lovely. Keep smiling. And you'll have them carrying your tray for you. I need to serve those drinks to the scientists. Switzer, Switzer, and clothes. Okay, back. Uh, prepare. The UI is like in the way. Uh, I can help my parents pay for the tuition fees thanks to the summer job I've managed to have in the mountains. Um, father's friend who put me in touch with the here, uh, Gaston, the manager of the refuge. Hooray, end of school. The year seemed like it was a walk in the park compared to, um, to the spring concert, though. It was so nerve-wracking. So glad it's over. Glad you're... Uh, glad for the break, although... Already can't wait for the new year with the Music Academy to begin. Father says I'll have to pay my way now, though. That's why I shall soon be starting my summer job. The pay isn't exactly great, but it will still help towards the studies. And besides, I get full board and lodge. Full board and lodging in Bosfuls Galore. Uh, fresh mountain air. Mom doesn't stop lecturing me about how good it'll be for my lungs. I suspect she exaggerates my illness, though, so she can keep me under her wing like a mother goose. But I'll keep it under my hat. This is no time for upsetting my parents. They have enough on their plate at the moment. First of all, there's money, and uh, da, 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 my parents' shop isn't doing as well as it used to. That's for sure, and I can't see... I can see that my poor old dad, who couldn't put aside as much money as his friend and one-time partner, Herr Zimmer, feels humiliated that I have to work to pay for tuitions. And then there's the persecution by the brown shadow against my parents and our neighbors 
it seems to be getting worse these past weeks. I even overheard my parents whispering about uh, a possible decision to power of this dreadful party. It's all the more worrying and their influence is not only growing in... Ostersaw, but also over in Europe. Oh, it's a place. Okay. Um, no time to right now. So much to do at the refuge. Um, new customers arriving. Okay. The drinks. What a strange mechanism. It reminds me of the automatons on the musical square. I'm not. It's not him. I should go on the other side of the counter. Those drinks won't get served by themselves. Uh, I'm trying. Here's the neighbor. So this is the spitzer. To serve a pint. Um. The keg's empty. I need to change it. One of these. Um. Diana, huh? Should be it. Let's serve these gentlemen now. No, we'll have to go higher, I'm telling you. But my point is that it's highly improbable that any primate will be able to survive so high up, let alone thrive. And if they were thriving, we wouldn't be looking for them, would we? I don't know why the... Uh, okay, that was weird. The captions they've taken stopped, to the higher like, scrolling. Ground, and they only come down to steal livestock and game. Look out, chaps. Gentlemen, your drinks? Ah, good on you, lassie. Horst, make yourself useful and pass these around. First day, is it? Better make a wish, then. All right, I will. I wish you would tell me what all those maps are for. Ah, that I can grant you. They show all the different locations of an expedition we're planning. Mm. See, the only one I can... And what's that one of, if you don't mind me asking? That is Baltayar, a remote region in the mountains of northern China. That's where I'll be leading my team in a couple of weeks. And... What's this expedition for? Well, keep it to yourself, but the code name is Origin. And if I have my way, it will likely change the way we perceive humanity.
I see you haven't come just for the view, then. <laughs> oh, no, Fraulein. We're only here for the beer and a pretty smile. That's our trainer out there. Supposed to knock this scraggly lot into shape for the big climb in Baltayar. <clears throat> right. And what about you, gentlemen? Well, let me introduce you to my dream team. Horst Sauer, talented anthropologist and frequent but worthy pain in the ass, your mother. Rudolf Jaeger, distinguished ethnologist. And last but not least, Albert Bauer, paleontologist. And yourself? Reinhard Berger, biologist. As Herr Berger says, we're here to train for the origin expedition. In return for funding for our own project back home. And for the love of science, eh, Horst? Oh, yes, of course, Herr Berger. I'm sure none of us would be here otherwise, would we? And what about you, my lovely? Oh, I'm Dana. I'm working here during the holidays, that's all. I'm curious to know what this origin expedition is all about, though. If it's not top secret, that is. I need Put to go this talk way, to the people on Dana. Dana. If Terrorist. and when we discover what we're looking for, you will no doubt remember this conversation as your claim to fame. You will tell your grandchildren that you served the Origin team, the team that discovered none other than the missing link of the superior race of humans, the Australopithecus habilis, the direct ancestor of Homo sapiens. Or, more vulgarly put, the abominable snowman. Oh, I see. Now I get why it's called Origin. Whatever we find, whatever we call it, it's likely to send shockwaves all through the world of anthropology. It will help us to explain how we evolved from Australopithecus to modern man, and then became... <laughs> he's off again. Get him started on anthropology, and he's like a bolted horse. I don't think Fraulein Dana wants you to clobber her with your explanations, Horst. <laughs> I'm sure it's all very... interesting, but I must admit I'm more into the arts myself. Music, mostly. Come, gentlemen. Here's to the Brown Shadow for generously sponsoring this expedition, which is sure to redefine our understanding of mankind. Oh, I see we're fraternizing with the personnel, gentlemen. Just giving a toast to our generous sponsor, Herr Hertz. May I remind you that this mission, financed by my party, is confidential? Do you know what that means, Dr. Berger? Yes, Herr Hurts. It means, gentlemen, it is strictly forbidden to communicate any details or objectives to anyone outside our circle, let alone to the first waitress to come by twinkling her eyelashes. Fraulein, as soon as you're done here, I suggest you get back to your chores. So grumpy. Very grumpy. What a brute. That is one of the inconveniences of working with a heavily politicized private sponsor. But he's just doing his job. And I suppose, like anything else in life, there has to be some compromise to get what one desires. So, think nothing of it, Fraulein. It is the way of science. Indeed, it is the way of the world. I suppose it is the way of the world, Herr Berger. Thank you, gentlemen, for telling me about your expedition. But I must get back to work. No, no. <clears throat> there, like that. 
Try not to move now, darling. Just staring at people. Lenny, sweetheart? Crikey, you nearly made me jump out of my skin. What have you got there? Oh, it's, it's a camera lens, that's all. A camera lens? Yeah. Borrowed it from Frau Junta. Who is this Frau Junta anyway? Ginger Junta, over there. She married? Oh no, too old to marry now. She's way past 20, you know. That's why she likes filming Leon. Because he's young and handsome. Lenny! And she never lets me have a go of her gear anyway. I only wanted to help her film something. I bet nope, she's jealous. You're no longer allowed to help film. Lenny, what's so special about Frau Junta's equipment that makes you want to steal it? Borrow it. All right, borrow it. Can't you see? Who would be interested in Ginger Junta if she didn't have a camera, huh? She's too old for Leon. She uses it so she can be the center of attention, you know. Is that what you want? No, not exactly. Besides, there's nothing to do here. I do understand, Lenny, but... No, you don't. I'm Feels like a prison here sometimes, all on my own. When I grow up, I live at the top of a building in the big city, and I'll have a swimming pool on my roof. Believe me, I do understand, Lenny. Because of my coughing fits, I've sometimes had to stay in my room for weeks on end. Imagine that, nothing to see but the same four walls. Oh, right. Must have been pretty tough, I guess. That's why Thank I took you guys a piano. For by. Do you like doing anything These, special, uh, Lenny? I suppose emoji reaction things. I like making stuff with funny. Papa. I don't like get a notification that they're happening. He's got ever such clever hands, you know. But he's always so busy in the summer. Let's be friends then, shall we? You won't tell on me then. Not now that we're friends. You Not promise? Not now that we're friends. I promise. Leon, dear, do make an effort. His hands look weird. I don't know what it is about the hands. Better not interrupt them. But Frau Junta wasn't exactly friendly earlier. I just see with emojis Lenny. happening in my chat. It's so weird. <laughs> like it's not even like scrolling emojis. Take orders. Adjust the stove. Um. I'd better not disturb them. I don't want to risk another scolding. I'd better not disturb them. I don't want to risk another scolding. All right, so we took the orders. Nope, 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 nope. I'm really having a tough time with this uh, movement system. Is, wait, is this the stove? I need to add more wood in the fire. Um, okay, so... Interesting. It's not enough. I need to feed the fire more. Those shoes look like they'd work very well. Um, it's not enough. I need to feed the fire more. Do I go out? Is there... I'm still holding the tray. Mm, there's something over here. Is there wood over here? 
wants us. So glad Herr Gustav likes me to play for the clients. This way, at least, I won't get rusty. Is there wood out here? Come on, Leon. Show me your energy, your youth. Oh, dear. You look more like my old Aunt Helga. Well, take that. Oh, I get to observe. <laughs> Perfectly dry. What? Why do I need to observe the firewood? Just have me pick it up and take it. That's so weird. We'll play in a second. We need to inspect the fire stuff. Oh, that must be enough. She closed it. That should be it for the fire. But I think there's something wrong with the airflow. Um, airflow is... What, here? This mechanism controls the air intake, if I remember correctly. Um, okay. Herr Gustav didn't have time to fix it. What are we missing? We're missing a knob? Herr Gustav didn't have time to fix it. Wait, where is the knob? Impossible. No. That one is loose. Okay. So, basically, what I'm understanding. Wow. I've never seen a stove like this. It must be one of Herr Gustav's inventions that everyone talks that about down in Wagen. The, the stove is pretty cool looking. I, I like this stove. Hmm. Looks all good to me. Oh, I just got lucky the first time and clicked the right thing. That's it. I'm done here. I've done all that Herr Gustav told me to do. I'd better go and tell him. I didn't realize that these were here. Those paintings. I think Herr Gustav wanted me to help him choose the one he should buy. He must have left me a note somewhere. Um, if Vic miss, I, I don't understand. Um, I have a little favor to ask you, young Leon. Uh, the alphanist is trying to fob me off with one of the, his paintings. Does them in his spare time, I grant you that they might not be a masterpiece, but they're very well painted, at least I can see. For da -da 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 -da, Leon is a decent man. Hmm. I should take a closer look at those paintings before choosing one. A nice waterfall. I'm just I think I'll pick this one. Okay. All right. Fine. No more orders, and everyone served. That's the girl. You handled your first foray pretty well, Dana, my girl. Stepping away as you did from anything to do with the brown shadow. Keep it up, and we'll all be all right. Hey, Dana? But what if he... Just do as you did, and we'll be all right. Good. That's right. Glad you listened to my advice. Just keep doing as I say, and you'll win them over every time. So, young lady, you're still off to the academy in the fall, are you not? What you waiting for, then? Get back to your practicing, and play us a nice tune while you're at it. Oh, I get All to right, play then. the piano. I will. Thank you, Hector. If I play the piano, I get to click some stuff. Play something melodious this time. It'll make a nice change from the military pieces some of the patrons have been requesting of late.
I do like the breaks. I like this. This is the type of puzzle games I like because then you can just kind of like enjoy the story. Well, here goes. We're going to go get some food. I think this dude's going to be upset. Leon, what are you doing? I want to catch the light. People definitely have some stiffness about them, that, that's for sure. I'm so sorry. I, I I got carried away. Bravo! 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 Clap! How can you clap? Oh, so you like the noise, do you? 
Don't you? Well, you should be ashamed. Ashamed, I say. To applaud the music of a... of a... of a treacherous Polish separatist. Rebel-rousing. It's this kind of rebel-rousing that puts the poison of Marxist Bulgarian ideology in the minds of honest people. And those who partake in its vulgarization are accessories to treason. You are drunk, Herr Hoss. <laughs> Out of my way, boy. <laughs> Come, Fräulein. Best clear off until the dust settles. Oh, now she's you should have seen me then, Fräulein Walker. I was so young and eager to witness whatever could happen between Dana and Leon. I needed to know, to be included. One way or another. What a fiasco. Don't you have some dolls to dress or something? Go up to your room, Lenny. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm so confused right now. I have such a hard time with this. Talking about the dude, um... I'm so glad I started this collection of photos. When I grow up, I'll travel all around the world. I'm not and quite sure everywhere I go. If I need to when I'm be old, inspecting the around, the wall will be covered with them. You all right? Yeah, I thought so. It's just that if I had retaliated, I would have lost my job, you know? Believe me, I came this close to not being able to pay for my studies at the academy after the holidays. Forget it. He was blind drunk. Won't even remember it come tomorrow. All Gustav could see it was in your fault. Besides, you didn't see him after your performance. Ecstatic he was. There are more and more people like that brute. They don't even bother to hide their hatred anymore. It's like they've been given a mission, or perhaps I should say permission, to abuse people like me, as if Vagarins had suddenly become the scourge of society. And we're powerless to act because if we did, we'd lose our home. My parents? They've become a bundle of nerves. They can't sleep at night. Only last week, our shop window got smashed again. And our neighbors? They couldn't care less. And neither could the authorities. What's wrong? Did my rant frighten you? Well, yes. Yes, it did. I mean, not you, Fräulein. 
But what you said about the fascists. You've put my own suspicions into words, Fraulein. Because what you say about the brown shadow is true, and that's what worries me. I used to think they were just a bunch of cranks in their ridiculous uniforms. But now I can see these lunatics really are serious. Deadly serious. But you did know who was behind the Origin Expedition. Never gave it much thought, to be honest. Only met Huss and the scientists today. For me, they were no different from any other group I've trained. If I'd have known that, I'd have had second thoughts. Actually, do you know what? What? I'm going to stop training them. Can you do that? It's still a free country, right? So after a few weeks' notice, I'll be off the hook. At least, I get to spend the summer here with you. Painting. But I don't paint. No, you play. I paint. It's my passion. And you can be my muse. Is that what you say? To all the girls? No. Never. Hello, you two lovebirds. Everyone's going to bed, so you better come back inside or you'll catch cold, or worse. What? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> and that's how Dana pipped everyone at the post. It only took one look for Leon to fall head over heels in love with her. And it didn't take much for Dana to fall for him. Love at first sight, you might say. Uh, that was a way of saying that, uh, or worse, you might end up doing something and then end up with a kid. The whole band stayed at the chalet all summer long. Then, I suppose, everyone went their own sweet way. Did you ever see any of them again? Oh, no. What about Dana and Leon? They too went their own ways, I guess. And that, Fraulein Walker, is all there is to it. Where did Dana go after she left? Back to her parents, I should think. Mm. Somewhere in Vargan. I was supposed to go get Pop-Tart. Do you know if she's still alive? Rip. Can't be sure, but I doubt it. It was a lifetime ago, Fraulein Walker. Where do you think she might be if she were? No idea. Things went from bad to worse after that summer. Not to mention half the town was razed during the war. Did Dana leave anything here? Any documents or anything that might help me find where she went? Not that I know of. But I suppose there might be... In Father's old coffer. Must still be in the loft. Yunta bought it from him that summer, so she could use it to store her precious filming gear. She was supposed to come back for it, but she never did. If there is anything that can help you, it will be in there. So feel free to look around the refuge by yourself if you like, even though I don't think anyone managed to open the coffer since Yunta left. Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny. Thank you so much. Yes, explore around out Maintaining here. the refuge must be a huge job. As tough as Lenny is, I hope she has some help when she needs it. No, I didn't quite want to talk to her. I just kind of wanted to...
Please insert coin and remove cap. There's a cap blocking the view. Oh, the mechanism is blocking it. I have to put in a coin. Typical. Do I have a coin? Nope. Alright. How come the door didn't slam like that back then? That must be the piano Dana played on the night she met Leon. The night Lenny told me about. Ah, I see I'm not the only one stuck here. <laughs> Ah, pull up a seat, and together we can moan about being stuck here. Thank you, but I have things to do. I hope you can stay until this evening, at least. In London, they have the changing of the guard. Here we get the changing of the colors. I guarantee it's worth the wait. Hmm? English? American, actually. Oh, seeing as you've come so far, then... Besides... It's always nicer to be stranded in good company. From Belgium, myself, on a world climbing tour. Stranded? Didn't you know? They've closed the Teufelskragen. That's the path they call the Devil's Pass. So that's what all the fuss is about. All down to climate change. You mean the thaw, right? Made the path too dangerous to climb and... ...apparently resulted in a morbid discovery. Oh? Bodies of resistance fighters, killed while leading refugees to Switzerland. Frozen solid. Resistance fighters? You mean... frozen since the Second World War? Ah, uh, that's what the paper says. Is that what the tent's for? It's a temporary chapel of rest that the rescue team made while waiting for the bodies to be airlifted out. I see. I guess there's no reason to disrespect the departed, even after all these years. I only hope all this sudden interest from excavationists puts an end to the stupid rumors that a strange creature haunts the Zilberspiegel. Otherwise, you can be sure, as soon as the old lady pops her clogs, this place will become run over by those infernal tourists. Can you tell me about this Devil's Pass? Nope, he can't. He's oh, just gonna give us vague answers. It's on the far side of the Cirque, looking out from the terrace. As you can imagine, it's called Devil's Pass because it's extremely dangerous. Most of all because of the risk of avalanche. Only seasoned alpinists can negotiate it, really. As a professional alpinist myself, what I love about it is knowing I'm climbing in the tracks of courageous climbers of bygone times. There's a real sense of uh, history about it. For example, resistance fighters used it during the war to smuggle Vagherons and uh, other victims of the Brown Shadow into Switzerland. I've had some experience with fantastic fauna myself. But what do you make of the so-called strange creature that roams the mountain? <laughs> Just another local fairy tale to pull in the tourists, if you ask me. They say it lives in prehistoric caves. <laughs> and that it's responsible for people going missing. Ooh. Some even say that the mysterious cries you can hear on some nights are the creature calling for a mate. In other words, the usual twaddle you normally get in remote or uncharted places like uh, the high mountain or the deep sea. 
<laughs> Twaddle passed down from generation to generation through sheer ignorance. Surely, from what I read on the way here, the cries could come from an animal native to the area, couldn't they? That is my thinking exactly. No doubt a bear with something caught in his throat. <laughs> it happens, you know. <laughs> Probably scared a tourist one evening, or... Uh, mm, maybe it was young pranksters. What about those frozen bodies they discovered at the foot of Devil's Pass? We're learning well, so much. Uh, due to climate change, the snow line has receded, revealing the bodies trapped in the ice since the Second World War. Most probably resistance fighters and exiles, trying to flee the fascist occupiers and reach Switzerland by the pass. Hmm? I imagine they got caught in an avalanche. Poor wretches have been imprisoned ever since. Until today. That is why the authorities have blocked access to the pass, so they can take the bodies out, identify them, and give them a proper burial. Right. Thanks for cluing me in. Anyway, I better get back to what I was doing. You are welcome, Fräulein. Reminds me of Hans's automatons in Valadilen. A mechanical stove. Seen better days. Hm. Another object with the look of the Varlberg workshop. Lenny's father must have made this stair lift to help her get up and down the stairs. Must have taken him many hours. It's touching when you think about it. That's pretty cool. I was trying to figure that out. I was like, wasn't there a uh, stairs? <laughs> How'd she go up the stairs now? <laughs> what is that? Everything else besides the coffer. Oh, I think I was supposed to go up here. Um... Take up reel, like the ones used on old cinema projectors. Interesting, interesting. Look at all the things we're finding. Wow, the lighting in this game. A huge attic. This must be Yunta's coffer, the one Lenny spoke about. <laughs> Set the left, the top. Mm. All right, so left and right must happen before. that from mm, it's just this one that I think mm, probably 
there. That doesn't really fit. That fits better. That doesn't fit, that doesn't fit. It's definitely this. I'm not sure about this middle piece. piece would be here. Alright. So this would be more like so. Come back. So it cuts off here. There's no trees here. Try to do this real quick. Um, that's fine there. This is not fine. Okay. Battle. So that's gonna what's gonna happen on the other side. All right. Oh, and then there's numbers. Zero zero one. All right. So I'll figure those out in just a second. I don't know that we've gotten any numbers per se. So, this is what we need to figure out. I think it's something like that. I want to say it's that. 
because that doesn't make sense. That makes sense. It's this this one that Some white. I, I, this isn't right. Oh, maybe it was. Okay. Amazing. Now it shows the view from the terrace. for the foffer. Coffer. Find the codes for the foffer. You think they're going to be on the coffer? want to break my neck thank you very much I was trying to click it but you kept moving third <laughs> of August manufacturing would be an honor to assist your daughter learning the tragic events both my father and my brother Hans admiring so the uh, Doubly proud to learn that Lenny is the daughter of one of the most talented former employees. Please find the enclosed construction plans. Allow me. I must remember to ask Lenny about it. So thirteen zero four one three four nope too many. Okay, I guess I go down. We'll come back up. Dormitories. I wonder how many people stop at the refuge these days. Now, Fraulein, I was just about to doze off. So rude. So rude. <laughs> Can you tell me about the resistance medal with your name on it? Sure, I was in the resistance. Not for those medals, though. Nothing but tin charms. Tin charms. You see... There's those who received medals, and those that were killed. And besides, they aren't going to give me my legs back, are they? I mean, they might. No, but they prove you played a part in the liberation of your country. Puh, nonsense. Nothing but bad memories. I'd rather not talk about it. 
About Yunta's coffer. What about it? Where did the coffer in the loft come from? In fact, Father made it himself during the long winter evenings. He wanted something more elegant and solid than the old family coffer where he kept the takings. Well, he so he made coffer. the one upstairs, thanks to the techniques he learnt when he worked in the Vorlberg factory in Valadilen. Valadilen in France? That's right. The price Junta paid was equivalent to a month's worth of takings. Money well spent, though, because it was built like a mountain fortress. You wouldn't happen to know the combination, would you? I told you before, I don't know it. Rude. I'll be going then. Just asking you questions. Just asking a simple question. You didn't have to be rude. That must be the piano Dana played on the night she met Leon. The uh, night Lenny da, da, told me about. Da, 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 da. Let's go up. Um, doesn't seem to be else much else down here. Um, it's a book. An old <laughs> book? The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann? Funny. My grandparents left me a copy before they died when I was a kid. I should get around to reading it someday. Interesting. Mm, nothing over here. Dormitories. I wonder how many people stop at the refuge these days. <laughs> two rooms. We got two rooms we can go in. We got a little nook over there. It must be a lot of work keeping this place going. Hats off to Demoiselle Lenny for managing all by herself. Mm, nothing I can do. Okay. Do, 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 do. Austere. Looks like a storage room. Mm, it's cold in here. Somebody's been smoking. A client, maybe? Unless Lenny likes to sneak a smoke. There. But who could have left it open? I was totally expecting to get clobbered over the head. You're, you're not even going to put out the cigarette in the tray. This must be Lenny's room. Not sure I'm allowed in here, really. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, 
innocent of great transgression. Where do we find this code? Sweet. Photos of the refuge. Looks like they're arranged by time period. These date from before the war. There's even one from the summer when Dana worked at the refuge. Nothing, nothing. I got three photos, okay. Um, All these photos go up to the 80s, including my date of birth. Something this tells me Lenny's not telling us. This series ends at 2002, three years ago, when I began my journey with Oscar and Hans's train. That's pretty impressive. Obviously helps Lenny get up and about. She's still sitting there, watching. Wonder what she's thinking about. So there's some stuff there. Um, hello? <laughs> no, nothing else to look at, huh? photos nothing down this hall I wonder if there's something else I need to look for that might be upstairs I didn't see see anything up there Like, I'm wondering if there's numbers I'm missing somewhere. 1C. Oh! Jeez, that was completely... I completely need to start looking for that, like, there's nothing else up here. Maybe on that pegboard? Um... The painting on the top of Junta's coffer reminds me of the view from the terrace. It reminds you of the view from the terrace. But there was nothing on the terrace. All right, we're going to go to the terrace and see if I can find something. Like, I'm hoping... I'm a little stuck, to be honest. This is the first puzzle that's, like, kind of stumped me. Um, you, it's probably something, like, right in front of my face.
But I need a coin. Oh, there's stairs. I missed those. Um, I just kind of want to inspect. That must be the notice the alpinist at the refuge spoke about. It prohibits access to Devil's Pass due to the bodies of the resistance fighters found on the ice. That must lead to the other side of the circus. Alright, so... This combination lock. We could brute force our way through it. It was not one, two, three on this side. up here. I can see why they call it the Silberspiegel. Silber means silver, and Spiegel is mirror. The silver mirror. It certainly lives up to its name. Silver so mirror. much going on in these mountains. Find the code for Now the and before. But I'd better get back on track, or I'll end up renting a room from Demoiselle Lenny and explore the area for weeks. What now, Fraulein? Is Are she always just, just about, about to doze, doze off? off? How did you meet Leon Kobatis? Why do you ask? You from the police or something? No. I just thought I'd ask, since you seem to appreciate him. Didn't you? Fraulein. When I said you could look in the guest rooms, it didn't include my room. But yes, like I said before, he was a regular customer even before the episode with Dana. To me, he was like a movie star. What young girl wouldn't be bowled over by a young, handsome alpinist? And to top it off, an Olympic medalist? I'll be going then. Why does she look so sad? Just ask the question. Alright. So, there's a silver mirror. We passed it somewhere. I think it's going to have the clues I need to... I don't think this thing does. So... Yes, I'm looking for the codes for the coffer. There's a mirror. Let's try to let's try this again. It must be a lot of work keeping this place going. Hats off to Demoiselle Lenny for managing all by herself. Somebody's been smoking. A client, maybe? Unless Lenny likes to sneak a smoke. Hmm. Sneaky Lenny. Austere. Looks like a storage room. I think we're going to be ending up renting a room from Lenny for, you know, a while, because, um... That's a mirror. Are there other mirrors that I just haven't seen? I wonder if it's on the machine downstairs. 
No, because it just looked at it. It didn't really... Ah, I missed the sled. Oh, nope, that's not the sled. Okay. And that's not a sled, it's a chair. Don't want to break my neck, thank you very much. Uh, ski poles, a pitcher. Okay, so that's all the clues up here. Weird. So, was there numbers inside of... The painting or something? Amazing! Now it shows the view from the terrace. I'm still thinking it's view from the terrace, but we didn't find a coin to use the terrace. Or to use the viewfinder, right? Wait, hold on. Is there anything from this view I can inspect? Nope. Let's try to look at everything else again now that we have a little bit more clues. Lenny's father must have made this stair yep. lift to help her get up and down the stairs. Okay, so that's the same it's information. Many hours. It's touching when you think about it. I wish I kind of told you that you already looked at that. Um. One, two, three, one, two, three. Fraulein Lainey will end up catching her death of cold if she stays out like that. A mechanical stove. Three. Seen better days. Hm. Another object with the look of the Varlberg workshop. We got, what is this? This is one, two o'clock, five, two, five, four. I need a book. I need to write these down.
I don't know if they'll have any significance, but... We need to see if they'll help. Alright, so we got... We got, uh, two. Zero, zero. Then we got a... Five. Zero, zero. Then we have a... Four. Is that four oh five technically? And then we have a nine zero zero a two zero zero. I repeat, da, 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 that's a 505. Then that's a one. I feel like I'm putting way too much thought into this. And then that's a one. And then that's a 205. And that's way too many. Um, Maybe it's... 452 is one of the codes. Reminds me of Hans's automatons in Valadilen. Mm, we're going to go look at the view thing, the viewfinder. Yeah, 452 would be one of the codes. Maybe. Alright, so we inspect this thing again. Let's inspect down here. Wrong one. Oh shoot, 72. Bodies of the resistance fighters that the Alpinist mentioned. So we didn't change that, we didn't find that one. We did change that one. I took a photo of that. Let me change that one, so... We got that. I think I only haven't taken a photo of one of them. So, I took a photo of that one. I've already taken a picture of that view. Oh. Wait, did I take a photo of this one? It is this one I didn't take a photo of. So that's what they... Something tells me it's going to kick me out once I have all the photos. 
So, took a photo of that one. Took a photo of that one. I've already taken a picture of that. Right. And I believe we took a photo of this one. I've already taken yep. a picture. All right, of so that we've thing. taken a photo of everything. We come back this way. Um, enter. All right, I'm going to stay right here and we're going to read the diary real quick. Um, so 108. 102, 127, 127. Alright, I think I got it. I don't think the clock has anything to do with it, but you know, I figured I they, they might come in handy. So let's go ahead and go solve this one. So, I believe that this is going to be 127, maybe, um, not that one, this one, or 63. This was 127. Mm, back. So let's go with this 108. I'm wondering if we're going to need both. I think this might be right. Um, or this one could be... Oh, that's 72. My bad. <laughs> I got it wrong <laughs> the first time. All right. So inspect. Hmm. I'll need a key to open it. That's not hard to find. Looks like she didn't note down the end of her meeting with Dana. No doubt Yunta must have written this. Summer, 1937. The year Dana worked here. Let's see. How'd you be talking I filled loud? my last diary last night. Ordered another one, but still waiting for supplies to be delivered to the refuge. Using an old envelope in the meantime. Today invited Dana for a chat after her shift. And we're back in the <laughs> in 1937. I'd like to know what Leon sees in her. I've never seen him so smitten. 
Thanks for popping up, Dana. How did the shift go? Fine. Same as usual. Just finishing up here, then I'll make us a nice cup of tea. Wow. That looks futuristic. What is it? Ah, that little baby is my viewer. That's why it goes in the coffer. What does it do? I use it to put together and edit the rushes. The what? <laughs> rushes. In other words, the strips of unedited footage. I've finished today's selection, so be a dear and put it in the coffer, would you? I would if I knew how. Oh, just turn the key in the lock. Um, thanks to a document found in 2005 by Kate, you relive events of the past described. Um, click plus and to swap between uh, interesting, so they're giving... The key Junta asked me to hide. Dana, be a darling and put the key somewhere safe. You can't be too careful with these mountain people, especially with that little Lenny sniffing around my equipment all the time. I think you ought to know. On the night we first met, when that horrible hearse made such a fuss, I caught Lenny playing with one of your camera lenses. I knew it! I just knew she was rummaging in my things! I'll make that little brat sorry we ever met, believe me. Whoops. Where do you normally put it? I have a little hiding place over there. So we're going to put it in there. Is this where you want me to put the key? Yes, there's a deer. It's a handy hiding place. Yunta's key should be safe in there. Just need to finish preparing for the filming tomorrow. Then we can chat away to our heart's content. If you could just fetch me a new roll of film from the darkroom, then we're done. I want to go get the the dark room. Where is she? Um Did you take this picture of and her hearse? How did you get to film them training? How did you and Leon get together? I mean how did you... We're just friends, if that's what you want to know. How did you get to film them training? Oh, it was a commission. Lucky, really. Right... And Herr Hurst. What's he doing with the Origin Expedition? Unfortunately, all scientific expeditions sponsored by the Brown Shadow come with a chaperone like him. There to make sure their funds are used as they see fit. In other words, that there is no divergence with regards to their ideology. Herr Gustav's radio. Looks like he customized it, probably to compensate for the wave disturbance due to the mountains. Alright, I think that's the dark room back there, so I'm gonna... Did you take the photos of the athletes? <laughs> You're not often lonely, then. Well, look at our sweet little waitress. Doesn't she have a saucy mind? It's called art, dear. My work aims to explore every facet of you. That's a lot of equipment you have there. I have, like, real photos. It's kind of interesting. I love your photos! Ah! Well, they each represent an element of mountain wildlife and flora I've photographed recently. I used them as a sort of... checklist.
A checklist, huh? Here are the film rolls Yunda asked me for. All these newspaper clippings mention the brown shadow. According to Father, their influence is growing among the population. Now that I've had the misfortune of meeting Herr Huss here, I understand his concern. Uh, I'm just doing the side quest to get a little bit more backstory, I guess. Continue to explore those events through the information. Darn it. The end of Yunta's notes. Impossible to know what happened next. But... Maybe I can figure out how to open the coffer from... Okay. There's a floorboard over here. Somewhere. This is where Yunta's bed used to be. Which means her secret stash can't be far. Oh, get away! <laughs> Yunta's coffer key! Before I do that, I wanted to search in here more. Wagen Refuge, 1937. Yuntas, this one says Lenny Director. So I guess Lenny did get to make her film after all. Wagen Refuge, 1937. Yuntas films taken during the summer Dana worked here. Do, 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 do. Put the key in, then we're gonna have to turn it. Where can I find the combination for the mechanism? I could try to brute force it, it's really. Might need to go back to... According to Yunta's notes, there was a room on the other side. I can't reach it anymore, but Dana could. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's... It was a um, mountain tree, flowers less, um, the goat is like second, right? No. So this would be mountain. Oh, goat, flower, mountain, tree. Goat, flower, mountain, tree. So we have goat, flower, mountain, tree.
Let's inspect. Better try something else. And now we're watching the movie or playing the movie. Oh, gosh. They're just free climbing. This is a pretty cool effect. I like this effect. Hover hands. Their hands don't really touch each other. They just kind of hover on the on the body. It's kind of funny. Man, I write down, wrote down all those uh, those things for nothing.
Interesting footage. Let's see what's on the other reel. Hopefully this one's not so dark. I have a feeling one of these is dark, and that's like <laughs> the thing I'm like, uh So we're directing Linnea as she plays around with all the items. Do I have to... try to open this again? Interesting. She's like avoiding everybody. arguing Lenny didn't say she filmed a fight between Dana and Leon I'd better go back and see her to find out about it I guess that's everything up here I guess so Yeah, the movement mechanics, I get why they have them like this, but they're a little, a little rough sometimes. Ah, uh, that fresh outdoor air. She's going to say she was falling asleep again. <gasps> she moved. Demoiselle Lenny, I saw the film you shot of Dana and Leon. So Junta kept it. 
She got so cross when she discovered I'd rummaged through her stuff. She most certainly had secrets of her own, that one. Of course. I know it was ages ago, but can you recall what happened between Dana and Leon that day? Why do we even care? You, you do like picture. flogging a dead horse, don't you, Fraulein? But as you please. Since Junta never let me use her camera, I decided not to ask her anymore. Like that, she couldn't say no, could she? And that's when I heard them arguing. How could you agree to this, Leon? How could you? I told you, I had no choice. The local guide for Baltayar can't do it anymore. He got injured. There are plenty of other guides in Wagen. Why does it have to be you? Just tell them to find someone else. Look, Dana, I didn't want to tell you, but... But what? Frank Huss, that brute from the other night. He's the one that made the call here. In other words, he's taking revenge by sending me to the other side of the world with the Origin Expedition. And he said that if I refused, something might happen. Not just to me, but to you as well. What do you mean? You know what I mean. You're a Vagarin and so are your parents, right? Well, Huss says it won't be long before the Brown Shadow is in power and he made it clear that something was brewing and that you and your parents would be first on the list. What list? I don't know, but it can't be good. Then he said that other Vagarians would follow. Dear God. Damn it, darling. The world's gone crazy. Promise. Promise me you'll be very careful. It will be all right if you just watch yourself and what you say. I've asked Junta to stand by you just in case. It won't be long, darling. Half a school year at the Music Academy. I'll be home for Christmas. Promise. Uh, come here now, my pretty Edelweiss. Don't call me that. You know I don't like it. It's true, though. That's exactly where you are, my pretty Edelweiss. If you keep that up, Leon Kobatis, I'll find you a nickname, too. <laughs> Go on, then. All right. What? What? Highland Painter it is. Your nickname will be Highland Painter from now on. Not sure my Veganese artist friends will like it, but why not? Beautiful, isn't it? I could stay here forever. There, Fraulein Walker. That is all I have to say. I hope this time you have what you need to continue on your journey. Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny. But there is just one more thing. You mentioned a music academy? They must have ledgers and archives. Maybe I'll be able to find out whether Dana left an address there. Well, it hasn't moved. It's still in Vargan. Go to the Musicians' District. It's right next to the Musical Square. That's all I can tell you, so if you don't mind, Fraulein. Thank you. Then that's where I'll continue my search. Is it really worth your while to keep looking for Dana? Is it not just another pipe dream, Fraulein? I get the impression there have been others. I prefer to look at it as a calling. Besides, I don't have much choice. Thanks to you, she's a part of me now. As you wish. I hope you find what you are looking for. Thank you. Again. Well, I'm glad we were able to f finish this segment out before having to go, huh? <laughs> I've got everything I need from here, I guess. I think Let's get on... back to the guest house. 
Get I some think rest. on Monday we're gonna. I'll go to the music academy first thing in the morning. On Monday we're gonna call it there. Until Monday, sorry. On Monday we'll pick up from there where we'll go to the guest house and then the music district, and we will find, you know, everything that we need. Uh, let's 